Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legacy, Realm of Terror. Now, we've finished exploring the first level of the house, and now we are ready to go up to the second level. So, the second level has a all new map for us to explore, but also has new problems for us to face. I'm gonna leave this statue here since we don't need it. And you may have just noticed that there's a person walking around. But that person wants nothing to do with us. This level is particularly dangerous because it's full of traps. Well, I wouldn't say it's full, but it's got a couple. These splotches of blood here tell us when something dangerous is nearby. So if I try walking forward into it, I get zapped with electricity. That was a lot of damage. But there's ways around this electricity, and it's these buttons. These buttons will teleport us around. We can avoid getting hurt. Oh, I picked up some matches and I didn't even take the time to tell anybody. A box of matches. There's some food here, but we're going to leave it where it is. This floor is particularly dangerous. Because the enemies here are very dangerous. But thankfully, I know how to deal with them. And looky looky what we have here. A bulletproof vest. Used by security forces, this Kevlar vest provides effective protection against most firearms. This is our first bit of armor we're going to find in the game. We're going to find a few more pieces of armor, but this one is going to stick with us for a while. And what is that? Wait! You must listen to me. We serve the cult of Melchior in life and now are enslaved to it in death. Melchior deceived us. We performed the rite of opening for him. In exchange, he took our souls. Now we writhe in eternal torment, damned to wander this foul place until we are released. The painting binds us. Burn it and set us free. But hurry. For he knows your every thought. So yeah, the first character we get to interact with and talk with is a ghost. Now thankfully this ghost is not aggressive or nasty. But this floor is full of ghosts that are aggressive and nasty. Not only are they aggressive and nasty, they are very strong. And they will flat out ruin your day. Let's read this. A handwritten note. I am not alone in this place of evil. In the asylum above, I caught a glimpse of a white-robed figure clutching an axe. Fear overcame me, and I fled rather than investigate further. I will attempt to return there later. Marcus Roberts. So yeah, I want you to think about that for a second. This house has an insane asylum built into it. There's one of the lurkers. So, that ghost gave us a hint that there is a painting that is binding them all. And it's going to be our job to find that painting. We're going to try to destroy it. Alright, I'm going to leave some items here. So I'll probably be coming back and forth to this spot a few times. Now, when I first played this, I was exploring the place and trying to look into every nook and cranny, and that was a bad idea, because the enemies here are strong and dangerous. A page torn from a diary. A bad mistake. I must concentrate harder on the ancient books. While attempting to cast a spell to locate my sister, I inadvertently summoned a fire spawn into the asylum. I cannot control them. I hope the doors continue to hold. It must be that I am the one. I am of the bloodline. 
My magical power should not fail me like this. Perhaps it is because my sister still lives. She is older than me, even though she has rebelled against her destiny. She still carries the blood. Yes, it is because of Ellen. I shall find her and kill her. But first I shall make her pay. Then none shall stand in my way. Robert Prentice, September 12, 1992. So I'm not going to take too much time to explore this place carefully. I'm going to make beelines to everywhere I have to go. And this is one of those spots. In fact, I'm going to save. Because it's very easy to die here. Because there's one of the ghosts. Now, we can take out the ghosts if I can hit it with some holy water. And yeah, you gotta throw it like this. I'm trying to dodge past him. Because while he's in the way, we can't pick up that holy water. Alright. That was awful. Let's reload the game and try again. Make the ghost follow us into the other room. automatically destroyed. But we got hurt really bad. Alright, this is another one of those rooms that we can explore, examine and stuff, but there's not much in here. This is a chest of drawers. This statue of a winged demon feels with foreboding. We're gonna leave that statue alone, I think it can actually hurt us. I want to go in here, because in here is the oil can. A metal can containing oil. We're going to use that to help us burn the pitcher. Alright, let's heal some more. some more points into healing. Well, we got a lot of XP, so I'm going to wait until we can level up willpower. Ah, and we just got teleported. There's the lurker. Door's locked. Do we have the key? Yes, we do. Oh, what was that? That noise was actually an enemy firing on us. The Devil's Art. A popular text on occult artifacts. A fascination of fascinating collection of occult artifacts is said to be in the Winthrop House of Longport, New England. The collection was begun in the mid-17th century by Hildebrand Winthrop, but was scattered when local peasants looted and set the house to fire in 1699. Fortunately, the collection was restored and proved upon by the eccentric Victorian explorer Miles Mayhew. In 1841, Mr. Mayhew had an entire floor of the house turned into a museum of the Okay, hang on. Esto Estorica? The museum has been maintained by all subsequent owners of the house, but sadly is not open to visitors. According to occult tradition, the items comprising the collection offer the ultimate protection against dark forces. Yep, eventually we'll get to the highest level of the house, and there we're going to find the museum. 
here we go, the Cult of Melchior. So we are going to drag this oil painting, not oil, we're going to drag the oil onto the painting. Now we're going to drag the matches onto the painting. As the painting vanishes into a flash of fire, you sense that the ghosts who haunt this floor have been laid to rest. So we will now be, we will now no longer be bothered by ghosts in any fashion whatsoever. Other enemies though, other enemies though will still show up. Including that, that there is a daemon, and these guys are annoying. But thankfully they're not nearly as dangerous as the ghosts. Now if I can throw some holy water at him, let me and destroy him right away too. Very good, fucking holy water. So we'll just beat it with the club. Now they can do a surprising amount of damage, especially when they're shooting at you. But if you get up close to them, they're not nearly as dangerous. But since you can destroy them just by throwing a thing of holy water at them, that's what I tend to do. Now we can explore this place properly. And that is something we want. And what do we have here? A television and video recorder. Well, we happen to have a VHS. Now, we're watching what's happening in the videotape. Some poor guy was talking until he got an axe to the back. Alright. But now I'm going to read you what the video said. Ellen has escaped. We've been carrying her since she tried to burn down the house in 67. Now she's free again. I don't know what to do. She killed my wife, Catherine, and my mother. Now she's after me. Why don't you tell them the rest, brother dear? about your mother and her family, about the ring, about the dark ones. Why not, Robert? Why? So yeah, bad things are going on. Now, let's see, we have a wall plaque here, and it reads number seven. We're gonna find a bunch more. You hear the sounds of knocking coming from behind the door. Let's try to open it. Nope. Keys? Nope. That's because we can't open this in the normal fashion. We actually have to go through a few things before we can get it open. No, we don't have the keys for that door either. I missed a door over here, so let's open it. Get that holy water, and read this note. Page torn from a diary. The time when the stars enter the connect correct alignment, the opening of the final gate will be soon here. As the moment grows nearer, incursions from the ethereal plane are increasing. Fortunately, I can control them, but only at a great cost. Any lapse in my vigilance would result in an increase in ghostly apparitions and demonic intrusions. Robert Purtis, July 5th, 1992. Well, thankfully, the ghosts are no longer a problem. The demons, on the other hand, they're still a problem. There's one right now. This door is locked. I don't think we have keys for it. No, we're going to want to find keys for it soon. Now, 
Now this, this took me a while, but eventually I found out if we click here, the wall spins around and we end up in a secret room. And we get to learn the Flames of Desolation spell. Get ourselves another healing kit. There's a plaque here. To open door 7, first enter the other ones in order. So that's how we're going to eventually get to open door number 7. We have to find doors 1 through 6. The working notes of Nathan Prentiss. Prentice. May 1973. Although there is still much to learn about this incredible place, I've discovered that the Lurkers, as, mother's, as Mother calls them, are connected to the gate runes. Each time the rite of opening has been performed, one Lurker and one gate rune have appeared somewhere in the house. It is their energy that keeps the gates open. I have told Karen to stay away from them. They're not only deadly, they are precious. Yeah, that's talking about the lurkers that we've been seeing around here. Now, right here is a very important room. Because this has this triangle symbol. The triangle gives you a pleasant feeling of security. If you find a room that has one of these triangle symbols, that room is safe. But we can't get into it. There are a few of these safe rooms scattered throughout the game. We can go into these safe rooms, and we can rest. In fact, they're the only places we can rest. And looky looky. A new firearm. A Colt 10 Police Positive 38 Revolver is one of the most common police weapons in the world. It contains two bullets. Well, we are going to take that. Now we have two firearms with different sets of ammunition for them. That's okay, because we're going to get to using these firearms fairly soon. Now, thankfully, this room is empty. Normally, it would have a ghost in it. Oh, our spell has worn, worn out. So what I think I'm going to do is cast it again. A difference that it makes. Now let's just get our poker. No, nope, this door is locked. We do not have the keys for it. Oh, and there's that person wandering around again. There's also a splotch of blood on the floor, so we are not going that way. I don't remember if going this way is safe or not. Let's find out. No, it is not safe because in this area, the controls get switched on us. So if I hit back, I should actually go forward? Yes. And if I hit back, I'll go forward. Yep. And here is our next new weapon. The baseball bat. A polished wooden 1990 World Series baseball bat. We're going to grab it. We still got to keep going backwards down this hallway. I don't think I should have come this way. So we do not have any keys for any of these rooms. We're going to find some soon. And there is a healing kit. So let's use one of the ones we have. And grab this one. Now remember, we have to go backwards down this hallway. No, nothing in here. Museum plaque. 
This plaque reads shuriken. Well, we don't have any room for shuriken plaques. But look here, a secret room. We want to pick up the aura of mystic defense and learn it. And here we have some 38 revolver speed load. I think we're going to leave it right where it is for the time being. And remember, backwards down this hallway. Now that actually is something important. The edges of this semi-precious gemstone are chipped. But we should come back here and get that gemstone. drop some of our stuff here, like this extra healing kit, these matches, and the Colt 10 we'll leave here too, and I'll leave the 38 bullets as well, but we'll be back for them soon. explore. In this case, there's a magic crystal, so we're going to grab it. We could check out some of this stuff, like the faucets. If we open them, they run blood. We could also check out the toilet, but we're not going to, because more often than not there are monsters in the toilets, and not the kind of monsters you get to fight with. Just dangerous monsters that automatically do damage to you talking about monsters. We also have some shotgun shells here. That means we're going to find shotgun over the course of the game. And we have our new key. Will this key open this door? Yes, it does. I should walk into the door, shouldn't I? We'll get the 38 ammo. And we found the fuse box. A large metal electrical fuse box. And if we click on it, we turn on the lights. Now we don't have to use the Sight of the Dark Walker anymore. There's some more holy water. And look, another key. This is the Alloy Key. Aluminum alloy key. Now I believe we have all the keys in this level. So we'll be able to open more doors. Another bathroom. An empty closet. But we're now back along the hallway that we had to move backwards down. right key. But now we can grab this gem. Actually, 
actually. Were there things in here we want to grab? Of course, some ammo. I'll have to come back for that later. Surveyor's report, Winthrop House, October 3rd, 1922. Built in 1639, the property originally consisted of two floors and a basement. In 1665, a number of secret areas were supposedly added on to the basement, but I have been unable to find those areas. The third museum and fourth floors were added in 1727. In 1730, a tunnel is said to have been built connecting the secret ways to natural caves below the house. Again, I am unable to verify this. In 1780, a fifth floor was added. There is presently no access to this floor. Finally, in 1861, the third floor was converted into a private asylum. It is surprising how many period features are still evident throughout the property. So yeah, we have a number of floors to explore in this building. Alright, and there's our poker. Nope, we still do not have a way in there. You know, despite finding two keys, we have not been able to unlock a lot of doors. Let's drop some more stuff we don't need. I know, riveting attache case gameplay. Well, that's door seven. We can't open that that way. But we do unlock the door to the next floor. We are not going to the next floor. We are finishing this floor. All right. I was totally expecting a demon. Now we're going to see lots of doors with lots of plaques. A handwritten note. The house is not entirely of our world. Many gates have been opened to other places, or other planes. The opening of these gates must coincide with the strange lights that appear every fifty years. I shudder at the thoughts of the innocents whose blood has been shed to open those portals. The essence of these planes has leaped forth, making time pass strangely here. The house is sliding between the planes. I've discovered that the house is cut off from the world. This is a recent event, as others have clearly been here before me. I entered, but cannot leave. It is apparent that the time when the next gate will be opened will be soon here. I must find a way of preventing it. Marcus Roberts. So now we're going to start exploring, and we're going to look at each one of these plaques. Now this plaque reads 1, so this is the first one we want to go through. And this one reads 2. The first few doors are going to be pretty easy to get to. Uh -oh. Now we gotta find 
Mark III, which is this one. I think we, once we get the four or five, that's when things are going to start getting a little tougher. Like we got back to one, so now we got to find five. No, that's six. That's the last door we want to go through. There we go, there's five. Now, where, oh, where is six hiding? Not two. Not one. If we go through the wrong door, we'll get teleported somewhere randomly. That is not what we want. We'll also have to restart the whole process over again. There we go, there's six. And in six we find the Parthak figure. This hideous object is an 18th century figure of a demon. The word Parthak has been inscribed on its base. We just heard a noise off in the distance, and our map is now starting to fill out again. We've more or less solved the puzzle. But, again, if we go through the wrong door, this whole process will start over again. And the trick now is to find a door that doesn't have any number on it. Which is thankfully this one right here. This also lets us out nice and close to door 7. And door 7's open, but. Oh, there's someone. What can I do for you? Make it quick, because I don't want to hang around this joint any longer than I have to. Well, um, who are you? My name's Key. D My name is D. Kirby, a private investigator. Edwin Croxley hired me to look into the disappearance of the Prentice family. Prentice family. Although old evidence points to the Prentice being murdered, the police still haven't found any bodies. As for a killer or a motive, you tell me. Hmm. I don't know anything. Maybe you know more than you're letting on to. Forget me for a moment. Are you all right? Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's be kind of polite with this poor woman. I'm fine, just a little scared, I guess. Now we better get out of here before they come after us. They? Who are they? Your masters? No, that's, that's getting too aggressive with this lady. In fact, if we get too aggressive with her, she might attack us. Before we go anywhere, I think you should tell me what's been going on. I let myself in here yesterday. Since then, I've been fighting for my life. This house is filled with... You know, things. Anyways, I was suddenly walking along this corridor when suddenly I found myself locked in here. How I got here is anybody's guess. Still, one thing I do know is that I better get out of here before I'm dead. Meat. What? I follow you into a trap? No. Only when you tell me what you were doing earlier when I saw you stalking around those corners. Yeah, let's try that one. Enough already, I'm leaving. But if you're, determined to, if you're determined to see things through, you'll need my help. So listen. Weird triangular things mean safety. Holy water stops demons and dead. Holy water stops demons dead in their tracks and banishes ghosts. Now I'll see you outside. Alright, now she's just gonna leave, leave off. We're never gonna see her again. But hey, we got her out. I am of the impression that that poor woman was probably the character that we saw in the very opening of this game. You know, immediately went upstairs and got attacked by the floor. Also, let me see if I can find her, or kind of her. That here? is an illusion of her wandering around. 
I don't know if we're seeing the illusion because someone has cast it to try to confuse us, or we're just at a phase with time, and we're seeing things that have already happened. But we are all done with this level. I'm gonna grab a few of the things that we need, go up to the next level, I'm going to drop off some of the things that we don't need. So, we're going to call it an episode here. I appreciate you guys joining me for this. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care of yourselves.